What's up, everybody? It's Robinson here. Just wanted to, um, I wish I had a better way to start these intros. I don't have, like, trendy, dramatic way of getting into these things. It's kind of introduce myself and go. But anyway, um, you know, I was actually, uh, as you know, I do some contest prep. I have some training clients, all of which I do online. And I uh, just wanted to talk about a little something today. And, the funny part of what I do or what I help people with, you know, as as a trainer, you think I'm really helping people mainly with their nutrition and their training programming. But the more I'm doing this, uh, my main responsibility as a psychologist is to understand where people are and how to get them where they need to be. And a lot of times to keep them or help them get out of very negative mindset and headspace and the reason why I'm saying this is that um, you know we live in a society where it's very easy to allow mediocrity to set in uh, it's very easy for us to allow people around us or things around us to inf influence our day and put us in a bad spot to the point where it starts to affect everything else. It starts to affect our mood, it starts to affect our determination, it starts to affect our willpower, it starts to affect just anything and everything around us. And sometimes I begin to think I'm the abnormal one, but we'll get to that. Um, but I, you know, I've been talking to a couple of clients of mine and a common theme I'm hearing is what difference does it make? Really? What difference does it make? Okay, well, let me get to what I'm talking about here. I've heard things of like, I don't have a show ahead of me. Um, I don't have like a, a set result or a set goal or a set finish line. So what I'm doing every day, what difference does it make? That's a shitty mentality. I don't know how else, I don't, I don't know how else to, to explain it. So for those of you who are into fitness, or trying to lose weight, or the end goal is to, let's say, win a pro card, or win a show, or just do well in a show, just because you don't have a competition 16, 20, 30 weeks away, or even a year away, the mentality of what difference does it make is extremely dangerous. And I'm not picking on any of my clients, I'm not gonna single them out, I'm not gonna mention them by name, I'm not gonna say what gender they were, I'm just stating, in general, that, that thought process is stupid, and here's the reason why. The idea is every day you're in the gym, one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, seven days, whatever you're doing, and the nutrition that you're doing outside of the gym is to help you make progress over a span of time. We've gotta get past this instant gratification or I can't see the change after three weeks or a month or two months mentality out of our head because everything you're doing, especially if you're a natural, okay, is gonna create small incremental changes over time. Which means that they're gonna be so small and so minute that you're probably not gonna notice the amount of change you had unless you go back and have taken progress pictures the entire time, or by the time you get to your next show, two, three, four, five years later, taking that stage shot and comparing it to your first stage shot, that's when you begin to see how much change and development you've made. So the thought of, well, I don't have a, I don't have a show immediately, so I, I don't have to train as hard, or what's the point of me come, being that consistent with the gym, or, uh, listen, I'm not saying, you know, you have to measure every macro down to the T from now to five years. Can you? Absolutely. You know, w will it help you control more variables and probably increase the result to some extent? I, I think it will. Uh, and I, you know me, I'm not the person who's sitting there saying be obsessive. Um, I think there is, especially if you're into bodybuilding, since there really is no money in it, it's supposed to be something that enhances your life. So if it's becoming a burden, then it's definitely something you shouldn't be doing at all. Like comp competing should not be something you're doing at all if it becomes a burden. But it, anything that you're passionate about and truly passionate about means you're going to do it sometimes when you really don't want to. But you're going to do it anyway. 
which means whether you have a job or stress or other things in life or you're not up to it, or you're not feeling up to it, you're gonna do it anyway. And the reason, the main reason here is we are a results-oriented society. So we need to see the results and we need to see them now. And we're trained that because of all the technology that we have, we can get results at a push of a button and we've gotten lazy. And in life, as the saying goes, anything worthwhile takes work. It's not a push of a button. Think about it, guys. Like, if you can get everything you want out of a push of a button, that's why we don't have the respect for things that we used to have. So, I might not drive the fanciest car in the world, or I might not have the biggest house in the world, but I respect the material things I own because I work very hard to achieve them. Now, may other people think it's impressive? No, but here's my thing. I can pay my bills every day. I have a house over my head. I don't have to worry about it. I have money in the bank. I work very, very hard for what I do and I appreciate everything that I have down to my cell phone, okay? I, it's, it's, I know it sounds weird, but most kids have no appreciation for the cost of a dollar. Most kids aren't willing to work hard. Most kids are like, oh, well, if something breaks, mommy and daddy are just gonna buy me another one. They have no idea how much it costs, nor do they care, and they just want it. And in, in the, one, the one thing so far in this world, as far as I'm aware of, with the human body is there's no instant result. Even if you do on the drug side, you still have to put the work in. I mean, you might be able to get there a little faster, but it truly, truly to get the best results, you still have to show up, you still have to train, you still have to have be reasonable with your nutrition, you can't just eat crap. Um, you know, you have to put in the work. And I just don't understand the mentality of what difference does it make? It makes a huge goddamn difference. Like, I don't know how else to put it. If, if, if you're truly serious about making a result about anything in life, that means every day you have to get up and you have to put in the work. Whether that's at your job, whether that's with your relationships, whether that's some sort of goal you're trying to achieve, whether it's buying your first car, trying to become an entrepreneur and start up your own business, own a business, run a business, whatever it is. The harder you work, I would say the majority of the time, the better the result. It's never ever just show up or push a button and you're given everything you want. That's not how it works. And if you think that it is, then shame on you. You know, you're looking at the people who are want to be successful, who are Instagram famous, who have bought likes, who have done certain things, and have shown you, shown you a highlight reel of their life and it's not they're either not showing you the work or they're not being truthful one or the other okay there are really as far as i'm aware of no overnight successes um there might be companies that happen to blow up faster than others but they still <laughs> put in the work so i was beyond shocked and irritated when i hear people like well i want to live my life i want to hang out with my friends I want to do this, but I'm serious about fitness. Then, no, you're not. Or, well, I don't have a show in front of me, so what difference does it make? Well, then you're not serious. And I'm not, listen, I'm not bashing anyone. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, everybody's priorities are different, okay? And that, look, I get, I get it. I'm not expecting everybody to be like me. I don't care if everybody's going to be like me. But you can't speak out of both sides of your mouth and then you know have it both ways. It doesn't work that way. So that means if you want to go out and drink and have fun with your friends, not really watch what your diet is and just bullshit around, then don't complain or say how serious you are about competing or your fitness goals because that's not what you actually want. What you want is to do whatever you want and hope that somehow, some way, you're going to manipulate the system to, to get around it and you're not. You're going to put the work in and you're going to track your goddamn food and you're going to lift, but you're not. Period. If you want to be successful in, in a competition and your goal is to win, then that means when there is no show directly in front of you and you don't you can't see the results right away, then guess what? You're gonna do the work anyway because you're passionate about it and something you truly want to do, which means there's a certain amount of sacrifices suck that you're gonna to have to deal with. Get over it, ladies and gentlemen. This is real life. Okay?
There are plenty of days where I don't want to train. Guess what? I do it. There are plenty of days that I don't want to weigh my goddamn food and track what I eat. But guess what? I do it. Why? Because it's important enough to me. That means I'm going to take the extra 10 or 15 minutes out of my goddamn morning or my night before I go to bed to make sure that I know exactly what I'm going to eat the next day. It's not that hard. It really isn't. If 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 tops, is too difficult to take out of your day to align your supposed mission, like, I, I don't know what else to tell you, then you're not serious, and that's fine, but don't moan. Everything you do, every choice you make, every time you decide to be lazy, makes a difference. And listen, I'm not perfect, okay? I at least, But the difference is at least I'm honest with myself. I know I could push harder. I know I could put more time into certain things. I know that a lot of times I'm busy, but I'm not necessarily productive. I know I can get off my phone, not record YouTube videos to post for you guys, and put it into return on investment on the other things that I want to do to get better results in other areas of my life. That's the reality, but at least I'm honest. Okay? I'm definitely lazy. I definitely procrastinate. I definitely need to start writing my goals down better and, and writing a plan of attack instead of wasting time and saying, I'll get to it tomorrow. I know that. So that's the difference between me and everybody else. There are people who execute by far better than me. I'm still learning how to execute. I'm still forcing myself on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, not necessarily in the gym, in life, to make myself more accountable and to get my, you know, do things that I'm uncomfortable doing or I don't want to do because it hurts or it sucks or it's, incon uh, it's inconvenient for me to do it or it's just I don't want to. It's not really inconvenient. It's not a priority. So to force myself to realign my priorities to with what my goals are, that's the difference. You know, I look at it as there's no money for me in bodybuilding, right? But I want to make my health better. I want to make my physique better. So guess what I'm doing? I'm making sure that I meal prep every day, all the time. And if I don't, and I don't get the results, so be it. There are days where I don't want to work out. Guess what? I do it anyway. I give it everything I got that day. Some days are better than others. You know what I mean? I have stressors. I have a life outside of the gym. I love when people say, like, oh, well, you know, this is your job. This is what you do. Like, you coach and you do this. And you... No, I have a job. I have a real job. I have things I need to do. On top of being accountable to my clients and running a side business, I have a job. I have a family. I have a son. I have bills. I have things I need to do. I have family. I have events. I have other, you know, I have just as many excuses or convenient little hand, you know crutches I could give myself and I don't and I won't but at least if I make the excuse I'm not looking for somebody to feel sorry for me I'm not justifying my behavior I in my head say okay I'm giving myself that crutch but at least I'm honest about it and I need to stop doing that and I need to stop doing that now and if I don't stop doing that then I can't complain about the results that I'm not getting from the work that I'm not putting in or the, the priorities that I'm not making for myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like this is real life. I'm tired of 18, 20 year old kids, 30 year olds, 40 year olds. Oh, well life is hard. Well, this is stressing me out. Okay, so, so what? So what? We live in a society where we've enabled people to be way too soft. I'm sorry. Yes, life is hard. Yes, things suck. Yes, there are challenges. Yes, there is stress. Yes, there's a lack of sleep. Yes, bad things happen. But you know what? The people who make it in this world are the ones who don't give a damn and do it anyway. All right, guys. There's your motivational speech for the week. Talk to you later.